Good morning, folks. We're eyeing another earthquake uptick shortly. We've got interesting articles and an onset of a major cold blast. We will begin over at spaceweathernews.com, checking out the last day on our star. Big sunspot group turning away on the south, and in comes the big coronal hole. Also near the top portion of that coronal hole, still over near the limb incoming, we see a plasma filament arching over the solar surface. This is actually a phalanx of solar tornadoes. They're connected at the magnetic ceiling, and we'll need to watch this one as it begins to face Earth tomorrow night. Solar flaring dropping back down into sleepy time as the sunspots aren't producing. We actually have a new group born top left that we'll have to monitor, but the established grouping just doesn't feel like having any tiffs between positive and negative in the central sunspot area. Solar wind here, up off the floor, but nowhere near scary, and so the KP is low, yet still in the cosmic energy safe zone. Here's that big coronal hole now. Magnitude 6.3 struck Indonesia when it began facing Earth, but we could see more here in the coming days. Magnitude 7 or higher potential is rising fast as well. Taking a quick look at the far side of the sun, after that coronal hole turns away, we'll see a whole lot of nothing on our star until the next coronal hole comes back around with a little sunspot appearing near its equatorial portions. Top news today begins with spooky action at a distance. A step beyond the demonstration, these scientists created a new material that is teeming with quantum connections, all within a crystal. Up next, article claiming extreme rainfall changes in the U.S. are predictable, and they've got a nice future chart there, darker areas with the most rain into the future. A spectacular article is out about a major geomagnetic storm 200 years after the Charlemagne event. This was likely about twice as powerful as the 1989 storm that took out power to Quebec, and its time after the Charlemagne event almost matches the time elapsed since the Carrington event. Next, we're at Alaska where negative 20, negative 30, negative 40 degree temperatures are being seen as the Arctic air mass is pushed southward. Here are some of the temperature readings overnight in the west. It's not just Alaska. We've got negative numbers all the way through Colorado and into the northern portions of the border states. Utterly brutal. Be sure to check out all the resources available to you. Most importantly of late has been QuakeWatch.net. But the nexus for everything we do here, including these morning news, is SuspiciousObservers.org. You're approaching 300,000 strong, and we very much appreciate your support. Right now, we've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.